Hey, how's it going? Ed Duda. We uh, are doing a salvage and inspection of a barge that sank at the Clayton Town Docks. As you can see in the background, there's a barge with a crane on it. Uh, there should have been a barge attached to the back of it where he had all his materials. So we're going to go down and do a quick inspection and I'll explain a little bit as we go. concrete patch on the corner that we put in. See down on the ground there's a whole bunch of steel piping that was on the barge. Uh, there's a damaged area that that's where we're going to be cutting in a little bit. We're going to cut off that little piece that's sticking up so we can put a piece of steel over top of everything, J-bolt it down, and then grout it in place. Basically, we got to seal all these holes up so we can uh, either pump the water out or inflate it with compressed air. Basically, displacing the water inside the barge, making it buoyant again. If I remember correctly, we ended up using a crane on this as well because down below is a spud that you'll see in a minute. But pretty much just tore it right out of there. Looks to me like it was caught and it went down. Um, so that's the spud that's sticking out right there. Basically what that is, is just a huge tube that goes down to the bottom and anchors the barge and keeps it from moving side to side. You can see the plate is missing on one side. That's a hatch cover. That's how the water got in and sank it originally. The owner had it loaded down pretty heavy with steel and a uh, storm came down the river basically uh, splashed water into the barge until it sank. So we had quite a bit of debris down there we had removed prior to floating this thing. And uh, we just kind of do a quick survey to see if there's any other damage. some of the jigs and pieces that he had mounted on the side here to help him. He was installing pipes, piers I guess, if you want to call it that. Pylons is the terminology. If you look down at the bottom, you can see that spud sticking out. Which, if you could think about it, kind of gave us a problem when we floated it. Because it wanted to dig into the ground. Pretty much anything that was on the deck is down in the bottom. Is there a uh, welder's uh, container? toolbox. All in all though, it's in pretty good shape. Nothing severely damaged. Just a mess. This thing here was, I think, cabled off. Um, and it looks like it was pulled away from the decking. Probably more of a structural design problem though. Doesn't look like it's a through through hole design and looks like it's just surface welded on, which it's not a lot of strength there.
back in that seam, working his way back up, up on the top. I think we put some air in it already once, and uh, we had a pretty good hole up there, so we took some grout and uh, patched up the hole temporarily. It's a lot quicker to just glob that on and then we'll go down there and weld it. Alright, so now you can see me under here, underwater. Um, that's a Broco BR-22 underwater cutting torch. And uh, I'm using Firewire. Basically, it uh, gives a little electricity in that black cord on the bottom of the uh, torch handle. And the green hose is pure oxygen. So with the oxygen and a little bit of a spark, it causes it to ignite underwater. It's roughly around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so you got to be careful with it because it will cut through anything you put in front of it. But uh, So I just got to nip this little piece off. You can see the grounding clamp above it. So it completes the circuit so I'm not in it. Let me take a quick peek, see what we need to do. And that's pretty much uh, the cutting aspect.